today, if you apply for land anywhere in this country, you won't get it. Because ladies and gentlemen, all the land has been sold off to prospectors by the very same people that we elected to be the caretakers. Every color that you see here denotes the new owner. The only three pieces are the ones in white. Here, here, and here. Diagnosis. The West, China, India are recolonizing us through economic imperialism. Now it starts with economic saboteurs who offer our government's grandiose development projects and loans through the aid agencies, the IMF, the World Bank, blah, 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 blah. They appeal to the egos and greed of our leaders, promising them re-election even if it means rigging those elections. But what our leaders fail to understand is that these loans are already rigged and there's no way in the world that we can repay them. So for the rest of our lives and that of our children, we are struggling to stay ahead of interest payments. If the economic saboteur fails, then the boys in plain clothes step up to the line and we know how ruthless they can be. Their modus operandi, assassination. The result, Nicaragua. Or maybe much closer to home, the Congo where they overthrow the government and install a puppet. If that fails, then they step in with their uniform and heavy artillery. Think Vietnam, or maybe much more recently, Iraq. Make no mistake about it, we are at war. But this is not a war that is fought with guns or nuclear weapons. China just exports cheap laborers into our country, and they kill our people with their mediocre safety standards. They force our people to work without the proper safety equipment. They disgorge poison into our rivers. This is a war that rages behind the vaunted wars of international banks and multinational corporations. They came in quietly, innocently, as investors. But unless my English is wrong, an investor is one that comes into an area and leaves it better than it was before he came. But the kind of investors we have, when they pack their bags, we are poorer than we were before they came in. And unfortunately, we cannot redress these wrongs in the courts of law because these people have got binding contracts with our government. But we are not going to stand by and watch our country being raped. It is an insult. An insult that we are getting 0.3% royalties on our minerals. And these people are not even paying any tax on these revenues. You know why? They are selling to buyers outside the country. And that money is deposited directly into their foreign accounts. If this trend continues, in 30, 40 years from now, we will have nothing. Our social sector is not working. Zambia has some of the best mineral deposits in the world. And yet, look, everywhere people are starving. So it's not about race or socialism. It's about doing the right thing. I'm as much a fan of capitalism as George W. Bush, Eugene Tao, and all the rest of them, but there is a big difference, people, between equitable capitalism and this blatant raping of a nation. Yes, Joe.